William Haney was born in Strong City, Kansas in 1939. His family moved to Topeka, Kansas when he was six years old. Haney graduated from Topeka High School in 1957 and received a BFA degree from Washburn University in 1961. In 1964, he received an MFA degree from Indiana University. Subsequently, Haney taught at the New York Institute of Technology, the Pratt Institute, and New York University. Haney died in Louisville, Kentucky in 1992 at the age of 53. During his life, Haney established himself as a very successful painter. His work is best characterized as hyper-realist or super-realist. Most of his paintings are based on a scrupulous fidelity to optical fact. However, Haney subverted the reality of his nearly photographic description of textures and light with highly constructed, pictorially dense compositions that integrated figures of history, art, literature, and his imagination in order to critique contemporary culture. This elaborately constructed oil painting by William Haney is titled Mary Off, Family Platform Trinity. It was painted in 1987. The scene conflates political built space with religious built space. Figures from the Jewish and Catholic faith appear. In the foreground, a male figure is depicted in a white robe or ketol which in Judaism is worn in the synagogue on such major festivals as Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. He holds a ram's horn trumpet or shofar up to his mouth. To the right of this figure, a woman in a blue dress is depicted accepting a Eucharist wafer administered by a Catholic priest as part of Holy Communion. Directly behind her, a procession appears to be taking place. One of the figures dons a gold and white bishop's hat. Behind them, four flags are depicted. The American flag, a golden flag, perhaps the flag of Vatican City, a purplish blue flag with gold motifs, perhaps the flag of the European Union, and the flag of Israel. In the left midground, a crowd assembles before a set of stages, on which a groom and bride and three political figures stand. The U.S. Capitol building is visible through a window framed by Baroque architectural ornament. The ornamentation around the window is sumptuous. It features colored marble columns with gilded Corinthian capitals a curved, broken pediment atop which reclining figures lay. Between the two halves of the broken pediment, a central circular motif is encircled by golden rays of light. Here, Haney's painted architecture synthesizes many different architectural projects created by the Italian Baroque artist and architect Gian Lorenzo Bernini, who famously made the chair of St. Peter in St. Peter's Basilica and the ecstasy of St. Teresa in the Coronaro Chapel, both in Rome. The three figures directly before the window are supposedly politicians. Mary Off was painted in 1987 during US President Ronald Reagan's second term. Stepping back and considering the figures on the stage, with the Capitol building behind them and the dense crowd before them in the dimly lit interior space, one might simultaneously recall imagery of both the Iran-Contra hearings and Reagan's sixth State of the Union address presided over by House Speaker Jim Wright and Vice President George H.W. Bush. Both of these historical events occurred in January of 1987, the year Haney created this painting. Considering all of the detail and seemingly divergent subjects, what do you think Haney was trying to say about the institutions, 
religions, rituals, and figures depicted within this painting. 